So everyone's telling you, you gotta learn the pen tool in Illustrator, right? You gotta master it. And it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna take a lot of time to get really good at it. Yeah? Well, I hate to disappoint, but that's just really not the case. The pen tool is actually really simple to use, and I have a method that I'm gonna show you today that's gonna make the pen tool super easy to pick up and learn, and you're gonna be drawing things with the pen tool like a master in no time. Without further ado, we're gonna hop right into Illustrator, and I'm gonna show you this technique. Let's get it. All right, let's hop into Illustrator and we're gonna create a random document. I'm just gonna do eight and a half by eight and a half. That should be fine for this. And I'm gonna demonstrate the pen tool using this sketch of my channel logo to show how to build this. Now, the pen tool is a very powerful tool because it allows you to build really intricate shapes such as this logo pretty easily and make it look professional. This is the tool used by illustrators, logo designers, and just a ton of people on Illustrator. It's a very powerful tool and you must know how to use it. And this way that I use it is just super simple and easy. You press P on your keyboard to get to the pen tool and the basics of the pen tool are that you click, you create anchor points, and then you can click a bunch of them and then when you join them back to the original one, it creates a shape. The shape has a stroke and a fill and you can remove both of them or neither of them. You can also take the pen tool and click and drag and you'll create these handles and then that allows you to create curvy lines such as this. But here's the problem with just clicking and dragging, right? Let's say I'm trying to make this shape and I'm just trying to click and drag and I'm following the curvature of the shape. Do you see the problem that's occurring? And even if you spent some time and did it a little longer than I did, it never ends up looking very great. I always start by placing down anchor points on my shape where you can see a clear tangent line. A tangent line is a line like this that goes parallel with a curve, right? So this curve is sloping down here and it's sloping down the other side. So where they meet on the both of the slopes, that's the tangent line. So I like to go around and find these straight tangent lines, place down an anchor point, and you can kind of see here's a tangent point. There's a tangent point down here. And we're gonna make this a stroke rather than a fill. You can press shift and X to swap those. And you'll get better at this the more you practice, but you start to be able to just see these tangent lines everywhere that you're placing things. And the tangent doesn't always have to be in the perfect spot. You can kind of play around and place them differently and it'll still work, but you just have to find pretty solid tangent places to place the lines and it'll all work out. Here's our shape now. It's all just anchor points. As you can see, it's a mess. That's how we want it though. Next, we're gonna use the anchor point tool. You press shift and C on the keyboard to get to it, or you can find it on the toolbar under the pen tool. It's the anchor point tool. Now this is a really powerful tool. It can do two things. You can click on an anchor point and drag and it will create the two handles from that point, just like this. Or you can click on a line and drag and it will pull out two handles. For this method, you always wanna be pulling from the points, not the lines. Because if you pull from the lines like this and then you use your direct selection tool which allows you to move the handles around the handles for each anchor point move separately from each other and we don't like that if you click on the anchor point and drag it out and then move the handle as you can see they're both moving at the same time and that's really important because having your handles parallel means that you're always gonna have a perfect curve where they meet rather than like a bumpy jagged curve we're gonna pull out all these handles and it does not have to be perfect by any means just kind of get them pulled out where you can kind of see the general shape that they're going in. As you can see here, mine are not looking that amazing by any means. Okay, we got them all pulled out. They're in the general direction. Obviously the shape is still janky looking. That's fine. What you wanna do is use your direct selection tool by pressing A or finding it over here on the toolbar. Click on your anchor point. Now you have your handles and you can now take each side and line it up with your sketch. Take some time and kind of pull the handles. They do not both have to be the same length. They can be different lengths but it's all about messing with the handles and finding that perfect curvature that you're looking for. Sometimes maybe you place the anchor point in a spot that's not helping you. For example, this one here is a little close to this one. So I can just pull it over here, move the handles, and then fix that pretty easily and get the curve looking pretty nice. As long as they're still on a tangent, it's gonna be fine. And okay, I think that looks not too bad. Now let's change it to a fill and take a look at our work. As you can see, it's still a little jaggedy and bumpy because I did it really quickly, but it's really easy now because you can just take these anchor points and just kind of mess with them and figure out exactly what you're looking for. Different anchor points can affect different parts of the shape. These will both move this line outwards, but this one is gonna make this a bit of a tighter curve while this one will help kind of expand it out. But this is the method that you do it. And it's not too difficult. It just takes a little practice, but it's really about just being able to have those anchor points editable and always moving in parallel handle formation so that you can have these nice smooth curves. And then at that point, it's just, you know, playing around until you get the curves looking how you want them to look. And well guys, it's really as simple as that. Go out and practice the pen tool and make sure to remember pen tool, anchor point tool, direct selection tool. If you can master those three and figure out the tangents, you're going to be a pro with the pen tool. That's all I got. Keep practicing and you're going to be masters of the pen tool in no time. Peace. It's a very powerful tool for doing illustrations. Either when I draw a line like this, or 
the left is colorless.